curious about masculinity, curious about Andrew Tate, curious about men's mindset. So today we have Vinton as our esteemed guest. How are you brother? Yeah, I'm doing good. Nice to be on the show man. No worries bro, this is the second time. This is the second time he's on my show, Good or Bad Talk. This is gonna be episode 14. Congratulations, we have reached episode 14. Thanks for your Thank you. collaboration Sorry. and effort. And today, it's gonna be very exciting because okay. we are gonna talk about some important values of men mm. and some issues on the earth right now. Okay. As the world is de deteriorating, right? So, brother, mm. how do men improve masculinity? Um, basically, I think the core principles of masculinity is to understand what you are and to get what you want. So, as a masculine figure, it's about you being you while sticking to your core principles. And like, if we compare masculinity to femininity, Femininity is about receiving, whereas masculinity stands as a pole, meaning it stands by itself. It needs nothing external. Instead, it exudes. This one is for masculinity? Yes. Right? So it stands by itself and it doesn't need external things, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So because actually, it's firm. Yes. Right? It's it, firm. it doesn't re need to receive, it stays as like that okay. this beast yeah so it means we have it in in yeah. ourselves right in yes. all the men mm. okay so we are moving to good or bad question are you ready for that okay shoot shoot would you fight against a lion or a tiger uh Uh, fight to kill it or fight to to defend myself? Fight. Just, Just fight. fight. Yeah. Um, I think a tiger, a lion would be more, uh, would be more possible to fight. <laughs> yeah. You mean lion? Yeah. Lion is more possible to fight, right? Yeah. So you choose to, yeah, to fight a lion. a lion? Yeah. That's crazy. How about tiger though? Tiger, because they they are used to uh, they are used to the habitats of the jungle, so they are more supine, meaning they can move uh, in a way that's faster, and they are more cunning. The it, agility is there, yes, right? The agility is there. Yeah, I I totally agree with you. I think mm. if you compare a lion, a male lion and a male tiger side by side, you can say the male tiger is more. Uh, like like a king but if we really talk about the agility mm. the skills of course tiger because tiger is a solo hunter yeah right like lion is more to like a group hunter right mm. it depends on some yeah, situations the, 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 the female lions kind of like yeah. go together to hunt the prey mm -hmm. right usually they hunt in packs yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the thing mm -hmm. what do you think of Andrew Tate um, the thing I think about Andrew Tate is that Andrew Tate remains a figure to me that I I understand, but I don't um, I don't buy into Andrew Tate's um, philosophy of male dominance okay. much. And the reason being why is that I understand his uh, principles on exacting uh, one's masculinity in this this age where it's uh, ruled by feminism but I just don't agree with the approach of it I think there are better ways to integrate your life uh, with being by being a masculine person without the need of um, being uh, confrontational but at the same time I understand and do take uh, confrontation towards uh, confrontations towards the the world around him as a masculine aspect and I understand why people are gravitating towards that uh, aspect of Andrew Tate because he 
he speaks uh, everybody's uh, mind in a way where people can be can relate easily like compared to some other um, some other coaches or uh, lifestyle coaches so to speak that are as not accessible compared to him mm. so okay as you say you don't buy into his uh, philosophy yes so what points that you disagree mm. with Andrew Tate I disagree with um, the way he need, the way you need to be belligerent about um, certain things about being for example um, <clears throat> not owning up to your like being rough uh, upon yourself is one thing that is needed sometimes you do need to kick yourself in the butt but it is not uh, every time you have to do that it is something that you have to do it by occasional uh, by uh, occasional stages throughout your life the thing I don't um, agree with and you take is the way he teaches uh, things the way he tries to get his point out which may not uh, work for me but it may work for somebody else and it works for them which is good but I'm I'm not saying that he is something that uh, people should stay away from because for me I think that everybody people can learn from anything they want to right but Andrew Tate is one of them that is uh, I would say uh, polarizing in a sense because because of the, his approach but uh, the way he views uh, the society as entirely uh, entirely ruled by the feminine structure while he's not uh, he's not wrong about certain aspects but he doesn't integrate uh, his philosophy with uh, the feminine meaning that if you cannot to throughout this life it is one thing to be uh, something that's centered but you need things on the outside which means that you need the feminine femininity to absorb things and to grow learn to grow around that and that's that's one of the reasons why I think that so even though Andrew Tate emphasizes on being an adult, right? Being an adult, trying to live, living your own life. But I see that his mentality makes uh, the people that follow him become very close, uh, close-minded in regards to their lifestyle and their space. Because to go forward and to move forward, it, it is always about the fluctuation between a part of your life where you have to be strong and a part of your life where you have to be soft so in these aspects you have to learn to balance okay. the two and because um, in psychology there's this thing called the anima and the animus which means that as a male you have a softness inside of yourself that you need to understand and as a female they have a masculine aspect inside of themselves so this is from the union uh, concept of uh, in, where, in which he explains You mean about there the is masculine aspect in women also? Yes. Okay. There's okay. always, whenever there's uh, an aspect, there's always the opposite. Okay. Whether it be internal or external, yeah. it's it means vice like versa. It, there is a uh, uh, feminine aspect in guys also, yes. right? Of course. I, I totally agree with this point. Um, so I... I kind of know like you are saying Andrew Tate is being so rough right because mm. he doesn't show any soft part in masculinity is it correct mm. because you say mm. sometimes you have to be to have to be soft sometimes you have to be rough or strong yeah yes so you you, you kind of see that Andrew Tate doesn't have this thing right he mm. he's always on the force yeah but strong, that's, that's strong. what makes him uh, that makes him uh, commit to the lifestyle that he has right now what I mean is that Andrew Tate uh, isn't for everybody okay. you know what I mean yes. Yeah. yes and that's why I'm for me like he has some things to that people can learn from yes. right but yes. not not everybody has to follow his lifestyle because 
<coughs> instead of being a lifestyle coach, he, he becomes more of a cult, cultish okay, kind of okay, thing. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because I, when when people look, uh, as you know, right, when people look into a figure and when they become an idol, everything they say becomes a commandment. It becomes something yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's what I don't uh, in, agree about. Okay. A lot of Andrew Tate's things. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, no, I I understand your point. You know, I mm. understand your point. Also, when I look into his points, it's also making sense. Mm. Like making, a, uh, it's like, it's like, uh, bro, you are a man. You should do this, do that. And, mm. bro, for me, <clears throat> it's real. Mm. You know, in, uh, instead of you like sitting on a couch, eating cookies, playing games, don't look out, and stuff like that. I really agree on mm. that point. Yeah, you know, I really agree on the point. I also agree on the soft part as well. But honestly, I don't think Andrew Tate doesn't mean you don't have to be soft. I just, I just think that he okay. doesn't mention that. Okay. Yeah, because he always talk about the rough, rough things about guys, right? I mm. think he also understands like guys have to be soft and stuff like that. I, I think he understands it. Just that mm. he uh, mentioned he pushes more because you can see nowadays, man. Mm -hmm. Not like a man, bro. Okay. I think, yeah. Uh, I, 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 from what I realize around me, the people around me, the guys, I feel like they have a lot of femininity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I see. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. I can see like, you know, I can I can feel that. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, they are becoming like women. They want this, want that, to feel comfortable. It's like we are running out of that path yeah. of being a guy. You know, I and I understand your point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Interesting to know that, you know? Yeah, that's why, that's why like, for me, I don't... Uh, for me, about men is that most, yes, most of them require a masculine influence in their lives to do that. But I think that they can get, like, better sources of better that. Sources. Because, uh, okay, for example, if you watch uh, the reels that come from Andrew Tate, did you know, like, some of them, right? Uh, like, if you join an Andrew Tate Academy, because, like, I have a friend that once joined that, Okay. And then what he said is that you had uh, in the membership in the tier, uh, you have you have to cut out uh, videos of where Andrew Tate is talking and make them into reels. So what? So sometimes he'll just be talking stuff, right? Okay. And they'll just cut the aspect of it that he, that shows that what aligns with his uh, philosophy. Okay. You know what I mean? So what I mean is that. Sometimes, right? There's a lot of context that's lost in it as well. Yeah. You don't because you need the context to understand the details, uh, what they're actually talking about. So, I think that it's like in that. That's why I feel that uh, Andrew Tate's scheme, uh, not scheme, but his way of mentorship, is more or less um, having cult followers and making his followers a business okay yes okay. and that like I agree with you as well like some some guys uh, need to have a spine like they need to understand how to balance two two aspects of their lives you know to the important one of the things that is good about Indute is it shows you to take what you want but the there's a way to take what you want that doesn't require for you to be um, that doesn't require to be uh, obnoxious, basically. There's a way to do things where there's a process where you can just... Um, a process that is mover, basically. But sometimes, you do need, the, you do need the, to learn to do the hard things and experience harsh things to move forward in life. So, I don't deny the aspect. It's just his approach isn't for me. That's all. Okay. Oh. Okay. <coughs> I about the clips that you talk about, uh. the cutting the clips. I think because of you know he he got a lot of haters as well. Okay. So those his haters actually cut the clips out of his video and try to cut down the the bad things that he said. Uh -huh. So that when people use that uh, particular clips 
we'll be thinking, okay, this guy sucks. He's uh, preaching the wrong things. Mm. He's saying the wrong things. Mm. But because he said, people attacked him in that way. They weaponized that thing. In the whole clip, actually, the whole video, full long form video, actually, he said that long form video, he was talking about good stuff. But of course, in some particular part of the video, you, you, you know, like sometimes you're just being harsh, but you, it's not the whole context of the video, yeah. right? So I think he, he asked people to cut that clips. There's a reason behind it. Like he wants people to do it so that people, out, outsiders know he is not talking about the bad things. He just yeah. preaching something that is good, mm. you know? Yeah, so yeah, because, you know. Yeah, in that context, like of course you find haters that do that actually spend energy. Just yeah, to yeah, cut, yeah. Try to finish. find the small uh, wrong words that he said. Yeah. Then for me, I'm yeah, not. Yeah. I'm not coming from a point of view where I'm like full on, you know, like hater or whatever. It's just that I, I, I research like about masculinity and femininity and like try to understand them for myself. Okay. So I don't. I don't really uh, find like coaches or gurus okay, okay. like that so for me it's like i like let like i i let people live the way they want to i don't okay okay yeah i don't really spend the energy to hate okay. because it's a very tiring process and it gets you nowhere so i don't okay, uh, okay. but yes yeah it, that's true because every side of a good side there is there's always an opposition yes yes to it. so yes, you yes, can't do anything yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No matter how good you are as well, you still get hated on. No matter how bad you are, so you still you get also. you still get uh, followers. Yes, followers yes. That say you're good, That's so. the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's the world, you know. It's it's messed up. It's just life. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you share a dinner with Cristiano Ronaldo or Elon Musk? Elon Musk. Why? Mm, I. I won't get much from this channel Ronaldo to be honest. He can teach you football, bro. Yes. But I'm not a fan of football, sir. Bro! <laughs> Yo! Well, but I I like even though like there's aspects about Elon Musk that I that I think that is uh that is good, but at the same time there's some some stuff that is bad. But I don't think that uh I don't think that one one has to buy into their the b bad side of things to be to enjoy a dinner uh, <laughs> with Elon Musk because there's a lot of things that I can learn from him so I would I would nice. learn just for the experience because I think that if I adopt uh, if I learn there may be some things that I can learn from him that, that I wouldn't learn in this lifetime as well so why not what if what if he says you cannot learn anything from me. I'm not going to share anything from me. I'm just just a dinner. That's it. You know? oh. Then it's cool as well. I rather oh, really? I rather die with him than with his general. Bro, Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo can can teach you football. Bro. Yeah, but I don't care for football. So. Hey, <laughs> yo, bro, come on, man. Yeah, bro, come on. Oh, it's just the way it is, man. Bro, <laughs> bro. No. How do you encounter toxic girls? <clears throat> I just want to entertain them um, because for me like my time is precious so I don't if any like it like it doesn't matter if it's a girl or a guy but I just won't entertain people who who are not worth entertaining you know it's not not worth my time so for me if I once as soon as I know somebody's like oh like if somebody is toxic, and by toxic I mean I have a judgment, uh, a judgment. I have ways to test them, uh, depending on their, to see to gauge whether they are toxic, whether they are toxic or whether it's just my perception of them that's bad. So I will often see. So if I'm the one who's wrong, then I I try and see what is. What are they trying to say, or what are they trying to accomplish with that uh, action that I think is toxic? Another one is that if I'm, if I know that, oh, this is just entirely them, and I can't do anything about it, and which I won't, anyways. So, yeah, I'll just let them be. 
because they being toxic will teach you a lesson uh, eventually you know because it eventually grows into narcissism uh, and narcissism has entitlement inside of it so yeah just let them learn their lesson along in life if they want to but I just don't entertain them because once I know that it's uh, they're just not worth uh, my time my time is more precious than uh, for than somebody to steal you know what do you think of Donald Trump? Uh, that's a hard question because I'm not American <laughs> So, but uh, I think that uh, to relate to Americans, um, to see from a point of view, I understand why is it that people uh, want, uh, like so some people support uh, Donald Trump, because like it takes relatability and to. To connect with the with the audience or with the politician that's connecting with the audience. So for me, what I think about Donald Trump is that he's a good businessman. That's what I think of him as actually. Okay. Being a good businessman is something that uh, America itself is a is a corporation actually. They're, they're made of multiple businesses with the F, with the Federal Federal Reserve, all that. So. Yeah, I, I, I guess I have nothing much to comment about Trump because I understand like he like the way people will ridicule him, but I th- I just think it's a it's a play between politicians, so I don't really buy into any anything, anything. So it means you don't support him. I I don't support any. Okay, <laughs> you don't support any politician. Yes. But now it's Biden. Like, would you rather get Biden or Trump as president of the USA? Mm, well, honestly, like if I had a choice, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have any. <laughs> that's that's my that's my answer for that one. But uh, in term, because I don't understand, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I'm not exposed to what Biden does and what uh, Trump's legislation does so I won't I, I don't think I can really uh, answer that well but if I see that um, their legislations uh, give me benefit from where what from from an American person as an American if I'm thinking as American right so probably I go I go for that be thinking as an American that is to say but honestly, I wouldn't uh, support <laughs> any. Now you're a Malaysian. Yeah. As a Malaysian, which one would you prefer to be US president? Hmm. I mean... Biden? Biden? Wow. Oh, really? I, that, because I'm not really educated on the legis- legislation, so that's that's why I'm not sure okay. what they're wanting for. Well, mm. What's your reason saying that Biden? Like I just choose sometimes like 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 everybody I just choose the uh, least uh, the least evil of both. Least evil both? of both. I understand. Yes. But yeah, but then again, if you choose Biden, uh, every a lot a lot of things are going to be restricted in certain areas. You, you know? mean Biden or Trump? Biden. Biden. Okay. Biden, with uh, with Trump, there's a, at least there's the ability to be more open. Oh really? About certain things. Okay. But yes, he again then again he's a bit obnoxious, uh, Trump, because. He's used to being a businessman, so yeah. Okay. That's why I don't really have much to say about that. Yeah. Okay. What kind of man is perfect? Um, 
You mean objectively or subjectively? Okay. How, do, how to be a perfect man? Okay. <clears throat> to be a perfect man means knowing, like I'm speaking from my own perspective. Huh? So to be a perfect man is to understand what, what is it that you stand for, like principles. Okay. For example, what makes a hero a hero, right? Okay, okay. A hero is somebody who stands by their principles regardless of what happens, regardless of the government turning on them, regardless of all this, he does the things he does because it is his nature to do. And the courage from there, it stems the bravery from where it comes. So I think that to be a man isn't necessarily to have big muscles, or to be uh, playing sports. It, those are archety archetypes that have existed. True, and those archetypes are like uh, sort of uh, correlations. They're not. Sometimes they sometimes they come hand in hand, but sometimes they, they don't come hand in hand. For example, you, you can meet uh, people who are buff or masculine appearance-wise, but inside they're, they're like a scared child as well. Right? You can see some people there and meanwhile sometimes you meet people who are thin or frail thin but they have this uh, charisma to them, right? This uh, strength that holds them inside. So I think uh, to be a perfect man means you have to by your principles you have to chase what you want and try and go and get it and despite uh, and just go on that path that you want because as a man it's about taking what you want rather than being a woman it's about uh, taking in uh, what you need uh, taking in what nurtures you so this, this is the aspect that differentiates too and I think as a man is that you have to understand to be a perfect man is to understand your feminine side as well because once you, once you ignore that then the okay uh, think about this right okay uh, you have trees you have old trees that are hard, hardened right and you have the soft supine trees that, are, that is just grown so when we are young we are often soft and moldable by nature right so during a thunderstorm most of the time the trees the hard trees the trees with the large the, with the bucks some of them, if they don't survive, they break apart, you know. But the things, the trees that are soft and flexible, that is something that, something that can survive as well. Ironically, you know, like for example, like we have sometimes in the pavement, pavement, uh, doing on the concrete floors, you see grasses grow, right? And other grasses hard or not? They're not made of barks, right? They're soft and they wind up until they break apart the concrete. So it's that uh, principle because sometimes you cannot be so harsh, hard until you break yourself apart. So it's about balancing the two so you have an ecosystem between the I think that uh, makes a man uh, perfect at least from not perfect but the ideal man yeah the ideal yeah, because yeah, I don't ideal. think perfect yeah, is a very subjective yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Thing, there's no perfect you know? man actually yeah yeah that's why it's it's important to be to know what you want so that you and to get what you want and to be understand how to be how to use how to integrate both your feminine and your masculine aspects because if you're completely masculine right like completely you, you talk in a way that says like, oh, I want this without any like uh, ethics like that's around it or any like context or ways to talk about, uh, sorry, or ways to, for example, if you want something, right, and you don't, you can, you can say, say it directly, you know, in situations where you require it, uh, where there's urgency, you say, you say the thing directly, right? But during certain situations, it's about uh, learning how to talk um, by learning how to talk in a way that's flexible, 
learning how to talk, uh, to go around uh, in circles and enjoying the conversation. It's about that. Meanwhile, having that point of point where you want to be at. So yeah, that's why that's one of the ways to be to see and to work on masculinity and to see why sometimes you need the feminine aspects in yourself as well. Yeah, I agree on that, like the rough part and the soft part. Yeah, mm. definitely bro. Like mm. a girl must have some kind of a tough part, right? Yeah. I, I, it's, it cannot be just like girlish, like all the time, mm. right? It doesn't make any sense bro. Yeah. And the boys also, it doesn't make any sense if the, the boys are really rough, 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 there's no so far. Yeah. It's, it's not going to happen. Like, perfect human is going to be, to be balanced, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I, yeah. I totally understand that. That's and, why, remember yeah. the princess syndrome that you, that you see uh, some girls have about like, oh, being, meaning be, wanting to be pampered. All the of time. course, that yeah, doesn't can, make sense, yeah, bro. And you, you, you have to put out the effort on the yeah. man as well, bro. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's why we, we see for both both sexes, you know. Yeah, Things yeah, like yeah. That. Um actually I I I think a, a guy must work out. Mm -hmm. And the guy cannot cannot have no initiative on working out, like building their physique. I think even though you are fat, you are thin, you are fit, I think you should have initiative to work out. Mm. And if let's say you are fat and you keep working out and you are still fat, I think that's okay. But if you are fat and you don't take initi initiative to work it out, mm. I think that's not a way. Yeah. What do you think of this thing? Because I think the initiative is the one that's important. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Because that, yes. because is, but right, if, if the person is like being I, he's trying to work out to lose weight and he's not losing weight that means he's doing something wrong <laughs> yeah yeah like to be honest yeah uh, to be honest yes. he's doing something wrong maybe he, yeah he's, but he's, yes the, that's why I'm the saying initiative the, is like, there, right? the principle yeah. of what you want like oh yeah, this is what I want so at least you're taking the first step yes forward. you have to take the first step mm. yeah 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 that's yeah. why being understanding what as a man what you have to do and facing those fears and being courageous is what makes a man yeah. like a man in yeah. the what John Wayne aspect. I actually, for me, not just for men, you know, this thing. I think this man also applies to uh, women or girls. I yeah. think they have to work out as well. <coughs> Same thing. I, I wouldn't be saying a girl is a girl, that's why they don't have to work out. Mm. For me, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense because I think health, fitness are everything for a human. You know, mm. you can't be just lying. On, you're a girl, you're lying on a bed and just yeah. watch a movie or whatever. It's not making any sense. Under air conditioning room, mm. you you don't move. How do you expect you to get mm. fit, to get healthy? You should go and do something right. Do you agree on that? Well, for girls? For girls, if they want uh, a certain body shape that they desire, then Yes, instead of using makeup filters, right? <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, yeah. for me, for me, uh, it's not just about building their body shape, you know. I think it's also for health, very mm. important. If, of course, of course. If you are slim, but you don't exercise, mm. bro, you are not going to be as healthy as it's supposed to be, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think this uh, is uh, the, the real thing, you know. Mm. I think speaking, right, like from, from my, my perspective, right, because I don't, I mean, I used to work out a lot, but now I just, uh, don't work out a lot. One of the reasons why, like, I think is that I, I because I keep, like, walking for long distances. Okay. So I don't, so I think for me, right, that for daily, daily right I yeah. use I do that right so I feel that that's enough okay for me for now okay because I some people they don't they don't really walk yeah, that yeah, far yeah. as well right at least you're walking yeah. at least you're walking I I cannot buy but yeah like I, I'm just I'm just lazy at some point so yeah I, <laughs> I, I, I know anyway. I cannot just buy into that girls on mm. especially girls because I've yeah. seen like girls sitting in the office <laughs> with air conditioning system 
uh, expecting they having nice good, body, nice figure, yeah, good like, health. Even though she <laughs> she is slim, come on, man, you still have to work out. For me, everyone has to work out and exercise mm. to get yourself your circulation going well. To release you know, endorphins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is very important, man. For guys, it's important if you want to feel more masculine. It's important to exercise to generate your testosterone and to release the endorphins in your brain. If you're doing an activity that does that already, then uh, that's good. But if your if your health is uh, really deteriorating or if you're not in the shape that you want, it depends on your priority. Basically, if you are like a hunter and you're going out to hunt, I mean, one of your priorities is your body because you use your body daily. So it's better to try to keep. If you're not if you're not exercising, try eat healthy. That's that's one thing I would say. Okay. Like you have to learn to eat healthy, to eat vegetables, to eat uh, tofu, all these things because sometimes it's about learning how to be how to compensate for certain things. Like for example, if you don't exercise, then you eat you eat well, as in like you eat what you need. You don't like overstep overstep it. You don't eat you don't eat sugar. You don't drink. You don't think, you don't eat things that you don't need to. Yeah. Easily, right? Yeah. So we are going to move on to good or bad question. Alright. So would you rather be chased by a pig or a Lionel Messi? Uh, <laughs> I I rather wrestle with a pig. <laughs> Why not Lionel Messi? He he runs so fast, uh -huh. so you can just run away from him. No, I can I can run that fast. Eh? You can take a picture with him. You can ask him how to teach you football, bro. Uh, bro, I say I don't care for football, man. Bro, why you want to <laughs> choose? Why you want to opt for wrestling with a pig, bro? No, because it's more fun, no? <laughs> Bro, the pig is smelly and he's chasing you, bro. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Bro! If I'm in that situation, I have to do it. At least Messi <laughs> showered. He's not smelly. Yeah. He's just a human. He's not going to hunt you. Why not Messi, bro? Why pig? Because pigs are cute, man. Bro! Bro, bro, <laughs> stop, 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 stop it. <laughs> Yo, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my god, bro. I rather have, I rather I rather be with a cow on the farm than be with certain people. Bro, you <laughs> Bro He's a human bro, come on. Just but chill hang out with him bro. The only thing I would do with him is I'll just like talk and like just ask her for his experience with me. I wouldn't it, for me I uh, Maybe he may be he may be a nice person, uh, right? But yeah, he's just like like that's all there is to it, you know. <laughs> like sure, like he will have interesting stories. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yo, bro, yo, man. <laughs> How to maintain a healthy mindset of a man? <clears throat> well, this is an interesting question, now. Uh, uh, as a man, as a man in this uh, in this world, uh, you are predisposed to so many so many things, uh, like because I'm going to speak uh, go in a roundabout way. So first we're going to talk about first we will see talk see how uh, information is processed uh, nowadays, right? For because the in this age where there's so much information, but information with no meaning. Basically, like for example, like TikToks. Okay, what are TikToks, right? Summaries of things. They are summaries of, uh, they are summaries of bigger, bigger things or things that they cut off and like insert it there as content, right? So, the thing about a guy is that he he can like, he can like absorb a lot, a lot of things, right? Like his expectations and all this. But right, to have a healthy mindset uh, as a man, right? Like it goes back to what I said, to be a perfect man, right? Everything basically is mindset. 
everything as a guy or as a woman is mindset. So basically to preserve your mental health, it goes back to what I, I talked about balancing both, both of them. But in this aspect where you have to balance your mindset is to learn to deal with your emotions better. Because as a man, we always like to keep things inside, right? And we don't get to get the opportunity to express that in a way that we want to. So it's a very so it eventually it can boil down into and become toxic, and so that becomes toxic masculinity actually. So the way to do it is to balance both of it. Is to and like I said, like and to see whether you're wrong or not sometimes is an important thing to understand what. Where does your moral compass lie in regards to the way you're living your life and so on and so forth. And as a man, to preserve your, uh, your mindset or to preserve to have a healthy uh, mental state, I, I might say, is to make sure that you're not lying to yourself. Make sure that you're going on the path that you want. Because that is the only thing, only place that you walk. Because like, like I told you just now, right? Nobody can, nobody can walk in your shoes. Everybody has to their own path to travel, yeah. and that path is only opened by yourself. And your mindset is the thing that really pushes it forth. Like I mean, we can see like um, like people who are athletes, and basically they have to push themselves every day to achieve the state that they want. So. And what you realize is that most of them is just about mindset. People always talk talk about the body or the skills, but it's about the mindset to achieve it. Because you have to learn to fish for the things rather than catch the fish itself. So yes, uh, I would say is that an important thing to preserve your mindset is know who you are and learn how to process your emotions properly. Know your moral compass and know your direction in life. Okay, interesting. I think this is uh, useful for men, right? If men are watching this, make sure to... Um, you can apply the, the, the good values that he has given. So, would you rather dance with, a, with coconut attire or dance with two sun bears? Two sun bears. Bro, why? Uh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> bro, sun bears can be dangerous, bro. Yeah. I rather... Two sun bears, but not one. Two, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, I rather try to tame the bears. Uh. What? Or they tame you instead? Well, who... Uh, what? May the best, may the best uh, species win. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, you can up for dancing with a coconut attire. Why not? <laughs> I just don't. I just don't know how to dance properly. <laughs> With the coconut attire, bro. I don't know how to dance, so. Bro, at least bears, bears aren't human, lah. So I'm okay with that. Bears are. Huh? Bears aren't human, so they don't know what is good dancing, or so. <laughs> yeah, you can dance, bro. I mean, if you dance with coconut attire, you are still dancing, bro. Yeah. Why not? Well, there's no risk. You just rather not, lah. Bro! That's just the way it is, bro. Bro! <laughs> bro! Yes. I will not take the... I will not dance in the coconut, I tell you. <laughs> What's the reason, bro? Mm, that's because I don't feel like it. <laughs> yeah. No, man, I won't have fight you. Yo, bro. No way. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Bro, once again, I want to thank you for this episode, episode 14 of Good or Bad Talk. Once again, thank you for the time. It's been so, so nice, you know. Yeah. It's uh, so in informative and nice to have your opinion on that. Mm. And shout out to your social media, please. Uh, you can follow my music on 
uh, Vinres, that's uh, V I N R E S Q U E, on YouTube. Or you can check out my SoundCloud. And if you want to find me on Instagram, you can either go by uh, my my artist name Vinres or uh, Von Drix, D O N D R I X. So, yes. Okay. Also, make sure to follow Good or Bad Talk Instagram and also subscribe right now if you are new to this podcast. Also, if you are listening from Spotify and uh, other platforms, make sure to also follow so that you won't miss any upcoming new episodes of Good or Bad Talk. And also, remember to check out the phone that I'm using to shoot, which is Galaxy Z Flip, Flip 3 5G. It's very clear. 4K resolution and also the mic the mic that we are using okay it's Boya and it's uh, one cord with two mics imagine you can interview people so simple not you do not have to use two mics right just one cord with two mics and also the tripod stand is gonna be so 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 stable right now shooting us thank you so much and also I've listed down all the books that he recommended in the last episode that he was in about the books all right so make sure to check it out and the caps as well i have uh caps different caps in different episodes make sure to check it out link in the description and i'll see you guys in the next episode once again thank you winton good or bad talk bro <laughs> good or bad talk yeah, yeah. peace out